in Bach you can you can take the piece, turn it upside down or something, and it still works, and I, I have no explanation for it. So of course you feel like a beginner because you feel he had something much more complex in his mind and you, and you don't get it still. I worked a lot with reading about historical tempi because this, I think, it's one of the fundamentals of music. I mean, when you take a piece written two, three, four hundred years ago, the first thing you should ask yourself is how fast it should be. There are so many um, records of Bach being a very virtuosic player, and they very often speak about how fast he could play. So I never agreed on this kind of theory that Bach is very serious music and you should play slowly so that people understand you. The main problem was to build a coherent interpretation for it for me and to make the six partitas sound like one one corpus of, of music, that, that was the main, main point, and it was not very easy. That's why I found it interesting to start working with the printed work, because you feel, and it's for sure you see it on the page, that he worked a lot to make very clear what he wanted. I think the best is to take the material of Bach and make that work without changing one single note or one single rhythm. That's mainly how I ended up with my interpretation, it's not looking for something new but trying to start from zero and build up my own stuff, then of course you end up with, with different ideas. <laughs> 